Well, hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts, and today I'm going to do a tutorial for our classic bobble and mesh stitch blanket that I added a pom-pom border onto. So here's kind of what this little beautiful blanket looks like. I used Red Heart Super Saver, and this color is lemon, and the gray color was called dusty gray, and then of course just white. And I did use a, actually I used a 5.5 millimeter hook, even though it was recommended um, a five millimeter. So anyway, you can use probably either size hook, depends on your personal tension. So, all right, well, let's get started. Okay, the pattern repeat for this blanket is any multiple of the number four plus two. So for today's demonstration, I multiplied four times three, which is 12, and then added two for 14 stitches. Okay, we'll begin with the mesh stitch rows. And you will start with working into the second stitch of the row, second chain, with a single crochet, and then chain one, skip one, work single crochet into the next one. Now repeat, chain one, skip one, work single crochet. Chain one, skip one, work single crochet. And repeat this across the entire row. Now at the end of the row, chain one, and turn your work and work again the same thing work single crochet but we're going to work right into the first stitch of the row this is your turning chain and it does not count as a stitch so basically look at the second stitch from your hook that's where you'll work your first single crochet and then chain one which stacks up across from the chain one from the row below, and then work single crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip the chain one space, work single crochet. So an easy way to remember that this is the mesh stitch is that the stitches just stack on top of each other. Single crochets worked into single crochets, chaining one across the chain one spaces. Now in the last stitch of the row will be the single crochet. That's the end of row two. Chain one and turn your work. And we will do this for six rows. All right, this is the end of our sixth row. You can tell maybe your tail is over here if you're curious. Um, I kind of like to, you'll just start to see these subtle um, lines. That's two, four, and six in my mind. I can see kind of that subtle line and that means that told me I did two rows. Okay, so at the end of the sixth row, let's pull through with the lemon color and make our first row of the bobble stitch. So I just laid it over my hook, chain one, and turn your work. Now let's begin the row just as we have before with a single crochet into that first single crochet space or stitch, chain one, skip one, and into the top of this next single crochet is where we will work a bobble stitch. Now, depending on the yarn and how big you want your bobbles, you can make this as many double crochets together as you would like. So for this type of yarn, and I wanted it a little bit puffier, I went ahead and I worked four double crochets together. But if you want them a little bit smaller, you can stop, stop right there at three. But I think I wanted four to really have it pop out. I pull through and I still chain one. 
and I still work single crochet into that next single crochet stitch. Now that will naturally pull that down and pop your bobble to the back. So let's do that again. Chain one and into the next stitch instead of the single crochet, let's work a double crochet four together. So I'm pulling through two, that was one time. Here's my second time. You just pull through two each time and stop and then yarn over and insert your hook again. Here's three. And here's four. Now if your yarn isn't as bulky as this, go ahead and do five. It's totally up to you. Yarn over and pull through all of those loops that are left and then continue on by chaining one because we don't want to lose any stitches in this row. We're just keeping it even. The only difference is that we're substituting one of the single crochets every other time with a bobble. Okay, and the last stitch of the row will be a single crochet. There we go. Chain one and turn, and this row is a mesh stitch row. So we're just going to, but I want you to make sure that you can clearly see these stitches so you'll know which one to skip over. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to see. Again, beginning with the single crochet, we're chaining one, and this actually is across this chain one right here, and then work in single crochet into the top of the bobble. Chain one, this one, chain one's a little bit easier to see. Come down here to the single crochet. Skip one. Work into that bobble. Single crochet. Crochet into the top of that bobble. Chain one and work your last single crochet. Now I did this for a total of six rows in the yellow. So that gives you three sets of bobbles. So again, nothing has changed. I'm just going to work that bobble, the double crochet four together into the top of that single crochet, chain one. Now there's no difference for the gray rows. The only difference is I only worked two rows in gray, the first row being the bobble row, and then a regular row of mesh stitch, and then I went back and worked in white. Every section is divided by six rows of white in the mesh stitch. And that keeps everything, your bobbles popping out all on the same side of the blanket. So I'm going to just work a little bit more here and then I'll demonstrate the bobble border. Now here's another tip for you before I actually start that border, is that on the last stitch, so these are my six rows of the bobble stitch. Here's the six rows of the mesh stitch. On these white and the yellow rows, I went ahead and didn't cut the white. I just pulled through and carried it up the side because the border did a really good job of hiding this. You are free to do this as well with the gray if you're, um, doing the same colors. I mean, just keep in mind that 
it depends on the color of the border that you do too. Anyway, just keep that in mind, depending on what type of border that you choose. Say you wanted to do the white pom-poms, but you had gray carrying up the side, you might be able to see that gray. So, But this border I'm doing is going to be, well, I'll show you on the main blanket, it was gray. I think for this sample, I'm just gonna stick to the white and the yellow to keep it really easy for myself. Um, the stitches obviously will still be the same. Okay, so I will finish this sample up with a few more rows of the mesh stitch and then we'll begin that border. Okay, before I began that pom-pom border and let me show you on the blanket what I'm talking about. I worked two rounds of single crochet in the white first. Okay, that gave me a nice base and then I went around with a row of single crochet chain three so then when I could go back around I had a place to attach the little pom-poms. So first we will work two rounds of single crochet. So you just chain one and turn and the neatest way that I found this to work instead of working around the chain one space uh, which kind of you know if you work you you feel free to do it this way too to go ahead and work a single crochet right into the chain one space or what I did is I worked two single crochets into the top of each single crochet and just skipped the chain one spaces so it's totally your personal preference of how you want to do that and then I worked one single crochet per the end of each row. But again, I'll show you when we get uh, going down this, the sides what can potentially look a little bit neater for you if you'd like to do this. Okay, in the last space though, let's work um, our two, let's actually work three to get ourselves around the corner. There we go. And I'm going to work one single crochet at the end of that row. Okay, so it's personal preference. You can work one single crochet at the end of this row and then one here. Or if you have a hard time finding this space and you just can always see the larger space, just work two single crochets in there. But probably choose one or the other. So again, just depends on what you prefer. Sometimes the single cro crochets on this first round can look kind of up and down because of the different ways that the ends row, the row, the rows end. So working two and skipping one sometimes can give it a really a nice neater appearance. Okay, so let me show you the difference. So that's what it looks like one and then say I, oh, here's that first yellow one. Say I just wanna work into those larger spaces. I'll just work two, two, and two. So that can look just a little bit neater because they're all even. So let's do that again. And we know we need six going down the white because it's six rows in between. Oops. Okay. Here's where it can, you know, really matter. It, really depends up to you. I think I'll work one extra to kind of make this my three that are in the corner. And this is the bottom of the row where it's gonna be a little bit looser. So I'm going to try and find those single crochet spaces, the bottoms of those stitches, and that's where I'll work my two single crochets. Again, Make sure you work your three single crochets into the corners. Oh, 
And then I'll just work up the other side and we'll join and turn and work one more round. When you get back to that starting space, remember we worked two in there, just work one more. That makes the third one for the corner. And then join with a slip stitch, chain one, and turn your work. So in this very first one, let's go ahead and work two because that will be the corner space and when we come back we'll work one more and join. And then just now we can just breathe easy and work one single crochet per the top of each single crochet and work three into the corner spot. Okay, I pulled through with the gray, sorry, and I'm going to chain three. Then I will, I didn't turn my work, I'm skipping two stitches, single crocheting into the next stitch. Chaining three, skipping two stitches, single crocheting into the next. And I'm working that all the way around this edge. When you get back around, and in case it doesn't turn out exactly that you can skip to and single crochet into that very um, spot, that's totally fine. Just skip one. Do whatever. So just kind of make it work like that. Okay. Now, here we go. Let's start making those pom-poms. You will just slip stitch into the next chain three sp space there chain five, three, four, five, and yarn over, insert your hook into the one, two, three, four. So it's basically the second one from the edge of the blanket, fourth one from the hook. And now let's work a double crochet five together. Again, depending on the yarn that you're using. Um, and how big you want these pom-poms, how thick. So keep this number flexible. You could do four or five, maybe you'll need six, but I've got my five. Pull through. Now go ahead and yarn over and we'll just make one more into the next chain. You'll see how these make little dots. Get five on there, pull through. Okay, now we need, so we've got two, we need to attach them together. So all you'll do is come down here and just insert your hook underneath one of the loops that's on the post of that double crochet and one of the loops on this side and a yarn over and pull through and just slip stitch them together. And we kind of got this little dot that forms. Skip all the way over here to that next chain three space with a slip stitch and repeat. Chain five and make your bobbles. Okay, so just repeat that around each chain three space. And then you'll just slip stitch to the very beginning. And you've got it. Okay, let me show you on the main blanket how it looks. And there's nothing special I did for the corners. If you feel like this one's a little tight, maybe I really should have just skipped one around the corner. Um, something you can keep that in mind. But basically, let me show you on the main blanket how the um, pom-poms just start to stack up and I didn't do anything different around the corners. Just keep slip stitching into those chain three spaces like that. And then your little pom-poms start lining up. So it's a really cute look. I love it. All right, oh, as for the pattern and all the yarn amounts and that type of thing, it is on our website. 
And this is going to be called the gray and yellow bobble and mesh stitch baby blanket with red heart super saver. And um, I will definitely have a link down in the descriptions if you're only seeing this on YouTube. Otherwise, you're already on our website and hopefully you're having much success. Come and show us your darling blanket. We love to show off your work every Sunday in our uh, Instagram stories. We do Sunday shares. And of course, we uh, have a really nice Facebook group that I enjoy seeing all of your work. You can share it with each other, ask questions, um, maybe get some different yarn color ideas. Everybody's very generous in that group and we're just so appreciative of them. It's called the Daisy Farm Crafter Group on Facebook. Just um, ask to join and we'll let you in. Um, easy peasy. Okay, you have a good day.